Hello to all. I would like to introduce you our new work, our new project called Prime Blocks, the next gen version. We have already have blocks, but they were based on Tailwind and they specifically were created for each and every library that we have, like Prime NG version, Prime React version, and so on. Now we have decided to combine them, unify them, and dedicated a new website called primeblocks.org. And in the new blocks, we have also added, uh, I think, many new blocks. Right now, we have more than 480. And there are three blocks, and it, they come in three tiers, application, marketing, and e-commerce. And right now, if you check out the documentation, the current version runs on Prime Week. As you know, we, all, we usually do things at Vue. Uh, to, once we make sure that it works, we port it to React and Angular. But the, this, this architecture requires a next-gen library, next-gen theming based on design tokens. And Prime NG 18 and Prime React 11 will be the ones. And soon we are starting the new HTML Web Components project called Prime UI, which will be totally open source and free. And we are aiming that we can provide these uh, components or whether they're free or not, but the main components, of course, they'll be free, but the blocks or templates to uh, any other library. So Vue, React and Angular will be our uh, the main uh, projects. And for anything else like Svelte, Blazor or standalone web components, we would like to cover them with web components with Prime UI. So it works. Um, like this so we have different uh we have many um uh, blocks like from application shells to stats let's check out stats and you can use this one to check out responsiveness and once we provide other versions they will be here and you can check out the source code as well they are created with tailwinds now we have migrated away from our uh, own Prime Flex because we would like to build components, not CSS libraries. And it's quite common to use Tailwind these days due to popularity. And now if you check out um, the, for example, you can choose dark mode, change the dark mode colors, the primary colors, everything is dynamic and you, you will be able to use it the way you like it. And the, for example, let's check out this one to see how it affects uh, different tokens. Now here is that, for example, uh, every block is different. And for example, this one is using a ch chart and it's just changing colors based on your preferences. And you also have access to the Lara Nora presets that skins the prime um, components and those design tokens are already available with our Tailwind CSS Prime UI plugin so that which it doesn't matter which um, preset that you're using. And they're responsive, of course, and you can copy the code. So how they're used is actually quite simple. You just need to, they're unlike the previous ones, they're now, um, so, available as components. So this one's a component. Everything is a component here. Uh, for example, we have a couple of samples that, so this one's application shell, a stats, a couple of different uh, samples here. Now, how they're used? Going to my question, let's check out an e-commerce one, for example, it's a category filter. Now you are seeing this aura. Now if I change it to, for example, Lara, you can see that these also change and based on um, the one that you use. And usage is quite simple. I will have some tutorials about it, but for example, sorry, let's pick a simpler one, like, an, um, like a stack list. So you just put copy and you go to your application, create a new view file in this case and paste the contents and it becomes a component. Uh, for example, let's check this one, card title, uh, dialogue, maybe there was a hero, yeah. Let's check this one. Now you can see there's a template section and script section. Script usually imports the components it's used. If you, you just need to copy it, go to your application, create a view file, paste the contents, 
And then if you have auto imports, it will start working. If not, you need to import it and start using it. And that's it. Uh, it's just copy and paste driven. So you have full ownership. These components are not available on NPM because you need to full access and customization over them. So they need to reside in your project folder. And you know, combined with Tailwind CS and Prime UI library, you will have now access to a wide range of components. And every three months, we will provide updates with new um, uh, blocks. Also, we are working on a prototyping tool that you may, you, you know, create a landing page or dashboard using some simple drag and drop stuff so that you can quickly come up uh, with the prototype and move it to your application and start uh, further improving it there. So it, it will be like prototype.primeblocks.org or something like that. And it's also coming up soon. But first we need to bring this to all um, libraries that we have. And, and the future of PrimeBlocks is quite bright. So hope you liked it. Uh, it's available all, and for purchase at primeblocks.org. And we will keep updating it. And it's one of our main projects, along with templates and libraries and UIKit and so on. Um, so uh, thank you for joining me. And I will just uh, leave the link at the description below for you to check out. Thank you.